Hi there. Real quick before we jump into the episode. If you enjoy this episode or any of the other episodes, be sure to give us a follow or subscribe. It would also be great if you shared it with a friend or better yet, left a review so others can know how awesome it is. Thanks so much. And now, the episode. Hey there, Press Starters, and welcome to the Press Start Leadership Podcast, the podcast about game-changing leadership, teaching you how to get the most out of your product and development team and become the leader you were meant to be. Leadership coaching and training for the international game industry professional. Now, let me introduce you to your host, the man, the myth, the legend, Christopher Mifsud. Hey there, Press Starters, and welcome back to another awesome edition of the Press Start Leadership Podcast. On this week's episode, we'll be discussing financial mastery for indie developers, essential strategies for budgeting and fiscal management, cultivating financial acumen, teaching indie game studio employees about budgets, costs, and fiscal responsibility. In the competitive landscape of indie game development, financial literacy is not just a skill for managers and executives. It's a crucial competency for every team member. Understanding budgets, managing costs, and maintaining fiscal responsibility are foundational to the survival and growth of an indie game studio. This comprehensive guide is designed to help leaders in the indie game industry teach their employees about these critical aspects, ensuring that the entire team is aligned and empowered to contribute to the studio's financial health. Introduction to Financial Education in Indie Game Studios The indie game development sector is renowned for its creativity, agility, and innovation. However, these strengths can only be fully realized when underpinned by sound financial practices. Financial missteps can derail even the most creative projects, making it essential for all team members to understand the basics of budgets, costs, and fiscal management. Teaching fiscal responsibility to employees not only enhances their ability to contribute to the studio's financial goals, but also fosters a culture of accountability and transparency. This guide outlines the steps to build this knowledge base within your team, from foundational financial education to advanced budget management techniques. The importance of financial literacy in game development. Financial literacy in a game development context encompasses understanding how the decisions made at every level of the organization affects the studio's economic stability and growth potential. For indie studios where resources are often limited, every dollar counts and every team member's actions can impact the financial bottom line. Key benefits of financial literacy include enhanced decision-making. Employees who understand financial principles can make more informed decisions in their daily work and contributions to the studio. Increased cost efficiency. Knowledge of budgeting and cost management helps team members identify and suggest areas where efficiency can be improved. Fostering a culture of accountability. When employees are educated about the studio's financial goals and challenges, they are more likely to take ownership and responsibility for the financial implications of their actions. Setting the foundation, basic financial concepts. Before diving into complex budgeting strategies and financial analysis, it's crucial that all employees have a solid understanding of basic financial concepts. These foundational ideas form the building blocks for more advanced learning. Understanding budgets. Explain what a budget is, how it is created, and its role in strategic planning and financial control. Cost types. Distinguish between fixed and variable costs, direct and indirect expenses, and how these affect the studio. Revenue streams. Discuss the various ways an indie studio can generate income, including direct game sales, merchandise, sales, licensing, and in-game purchases. Interactive workshops, seminars, or even regular financial meetings can be effective formats for delivering this foundational knowledge, ensuring that employees not only hear the information, but engage with it actively. Implementing financial training programs. Developing a structured training program that incorporates both theoretical and practical components can significantly enhance the financial acumen of your team. Here's how to structure this training. Theoretical learning. Use courses, workshops, and seminars to teach the financial basics and more advanced concepts. These could be conducted by external finance experts or knowledgeable internal staff. Practical application. 
implement practical exercises that involve team members in budget planning, cost analysis, and financial forecasting. For example, involve them in the annual budget review or in project postmortem discussions focusing on budget use versus actual spending. Continuous education. Finance and economics are dynamic fields, offering ongoing learning opportunities such as subscriptions to financial newsletters, access to webinars, or periodic in-house training sessions can help the team update on best practices and emerging trends. Role-specific financial training. While basic financial principles apply to everyone, different roles within a game studio have varying levels of involvement with budgets and costs. Tailoring training and the specific needs and responsibilities of different roles can make the education more relevant and effective. To designers and developers, focus on how their choices in game design and tool selection can affect the studio's cost and resource allocation. For project managers, deep dive in the budget management, cost benefit analysis, and strategic alignment of projects with financial goals. And for marketing teams, teach the importance of calculating return on investment, also known as ROI budgeting for campaigns, and tracking the financial effectiveness of marketing strategies. Creating a culture of fiscal responsibility. Embedding a culture of fiscal responsibility within an indie game studio goes beyond formal training. and involves making financial awareness a core part of your studio's ethos. Here are strategies to ingrain this culture deeply within the team's psyche. Transparency. Regularly share financial updates with the team, including budget status, financial challenges, and victories. This openness helps demystify finance and integrates it into the daily consciousness of your team. Incentives. Implement incentive programs that reward cost-saving innovations or budget-conscious project management. Recognizing and rewarding fiscal responsibility reinforces its importance. And leadership by example. Leaders should model fiscal responsibility in their actions and decisions. This behavior sets a benchmark and demonstrates the studio's commitment to sound financial management. Advanced budgeting techniques for game development. As game studios evolve, their financial strategies must also become more refined. Advanced budgeting techniques can help studios plan more accurately, forecast future financial scenarios, and allocate resources more effectively. Zero-based budgeting. Unlike traditional budgeting methods that modify existing budgets, Zero-based budgeting requires each cost to be justified for each new period. This approach ensures that spending is aligned with current studio priorities and can be particularly effective in managing project budgets where old assumptions may no longer hold. Rolling forecasts. Instead of static annual budgets, rolling forecasts allow studios to update their financial predictions regularly. This method adapts to changes in the studio's operations and market conditions, providing a more flexible and responsive approach to financial planning. Scenario planning. Useful for managing uncertainties in game development. Scenario planning involves creating detailed financial plans under various hypothetical scenarios. Best case, worst case, most likely case. This prepares the studio to handle different potential features, reducing risks, and enabling quicker adaptation to changing circumstances. Utilizing financial tools and software. Leveraging the right tools can streamline financial management processes, improve accuracy, and provide insightful data analytics for, pre- for better decision making. Accounting software, tools like QuickBooks, Xero, or FreshBooks can automate many accounting tasks, track expenses, and manage invoices, making it easier for studios to maintain accurate records and comply with financial regulations. Project management software with financial integration. Platforms like Jira, Trello, or Asana can be used not only for tracking project progress, but also for monitoring project budgets and resource allocations when integrated with financial functionalities. Analytics and dashboard tools. Use data visualization like Tableau, or Microsoft Power BI to create financial dashboards that display key financial metrics at a glance. These tools can help leaders quickly assess financial health and make informed decisions. Embedding continuous financial learning. The financial landscape is continually evolving and staying informed is key to maintaining a competitive edge. Encouraging continuous learning and adaptation in financial practices can significantly benefit your studio. Regular financial training. Schedule ongoing training sessions to keep the team up to date with the latest financial management practices and tools. This could include bringing in external finance experts for seminars or subscribing to online courses. Participation in industry forums and networks. Encourage team members to join game development forums, attend industry conferences, and participate in financial workshops. These networks can be invaluable sources of knowledge and support. Feedback and improvement loops. Implement a system where financial strategies and outcomes are regularly reviewed with the team encouraging feedback and suggestions for improvement. This iterative process helps refine financial practices and fosters a proactive financial culture within the studio. Final thoughts. 
for indie game studios, mastering the financial aspect of game development is as crucial as the creative process. By implementing advanced budgeting techniques, utilizing sophisticated financial tools, learning from industry peers, and fostering an environment of continuous financial education, studios can enhance their financial resilience and strategic capabilities. These efforts not only safeguard the studio's financial health, but also support sustainable growth and innovation allowing indie developers to continue delivering compelling gaming experiences without the constant stress of financial uncertainty. Through diligent application of these principles, indie game studios can achieve a balanced approach to managing creativity and financial rigor, ensuring their longevity and success in the competitive gaming market. All right, and that's this week's episode of the Press Star Leadership Podcast. Thanks for listening, and as always, thanks for being awesome. Oh, hi there. The episode's over, but thanks for sticking around till the end. If you're on the quest to elevate your team's leadership, production, or game design capabilities, I'm here to assist. Leveraging extensive experience and a strategic approach, I offer personalized audits, bespoke workshops, and leadership retreat facilitation to drive your team toward excellence. My commitment is to provide efficient, reliable, and proven support, ensuring you have the tools and insights needed to thrive. Ready to unlock your team's full potential and achieve unparalleled success? Don't hesitate to press start on your journey to transformation today. Feel free to reach out directly to discuss how we can tailor a solution to meet your unique needs and goals. Let's connect and take your team's performance to the next level.